Someone asked me, Sister, your congregation is asking for dowry? So I answered her, When you enter, keep in mind what is important is your heart. But in case you have something and you can bring as a dowry, please bring it. In our statute, it is written, The dowry shall be decided by the general chapter based on the cost of living in the place of origin of the sister. If it is necessary, the course of six years, the general council can modify the total amount. Normally, it is handed over before admission to novitiate, and it remains the property of the sister until her death. We don't force act on it. But in case, economically, the sister is not capable and cannot meet dowry, we don't force. So whoever has economic or family difficulty must inform the superior general who in the opinion of her council can dispense the giving of the whole sum or part of it. The dowry shall be administered by the treasurer and can be given back to the sister without interest if she leaves the institute. Why? Kasi yun you enter, it is you and God. So no interest yung ba binigay mo. It will remain yours. That will be yours. Magiging sa congregation pag namatay na yung madre. Just in case the postulant shall make a written declaration that in case she leaves or gets dismissed during the period of formation, she cannot claim anything from the congregation for any work done during her stay. So, what is important, when you give yourself to the Lord, just like when you get married, you will give your all, your best to the Lord. But one thing that I could say, the congregation will not force you to give the dowry. But when you get married, isn't it that you want to give your best? Not only your body, your sap, your heart, even your resources. So the same thing when you enter the convent, you will give your best because you are committing yourself to the Lord.